वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर एटीन ऑन द इंडस्ट्रियल फ्रंट एम्फोसिस will be laid on the rapid increase in industrial production through better utilization of existing capacity improved labor relations and better management particularly of public sector undertakings efforts will be directed to systematic expansion of our exports through better management of both the agricultural and industrial sectors the country is faced with a massive energy crisis we are entering a period of rising energy costs and likely shortages in supplies the government proposes to evolve a comprehensive national policy on energy with emphasis on fuller utilization of renewable energy sources both tradi- traditional and non traditional the study d deterioration of the environment threatens the present and future well-being of the country and the people afforestation flood control soil conservation preservation of flora and fauna proper land use planning water and air pollution controls and judicious location of industries must be undertaken urgently the government is setting up a specialized machinery with adequate powers to incorporate in all planned development measures to maintain ecological balance the role of science and technology will be strength steps will be taken to ensure that research and development got their due place in all important sectors of national endeavor the government reiterates its commitment to the freedom of the press it believes in providing all possible encouragement for the development of small and medium newspapers including those in regional languages and independent judiciary is a necessary con- committent of the democratic process the government is anxious that our legal system should provide speedy justice and that opportunities for securing justice are not denied to any citizen by reason of economic or other disabilities measures for this purpose and other allied methods are proposed to be initiated the government is committed fully to secularism and will take steps to ensure that the minorities while preserving 
their distinct cultural identities enjoy a sense of full and equal participation in all spheres of national life legislation for assuring the minority character of the aligarh muslim university will be introduced in the next session in a polity like ours healthy relations between the centers and the states are essential for effective functioning it will be the endeavor of the central government to maintain and foster such relations in international affairs the government will follow the path of non alignment india has always stood steadfast in the independence of its judgment in the making of her foreign policy the intervention of outside forces and the induction of ornaments in the region as well as in our neighborhood have created a dangerous situation not only for ourselves but for the entire area recent developments in afghanistan highlight the reemergence of the cold war this is a matter of grave concern the countries of the region should be allowed to devote their energies to the promotion of regional stability and cooperation with one another the resources of the region are enormous and should be utilized for the welfare of the people there to subject these countries to big power rivalries is totally unacceptable to us the government intends to initiate consultations and action to foster cooperation for the well-being of the entire region with our neighbors the government intends to follow a policy of cooperation and friendship with pakistan our relations are in the process of normalization and the government proposes to continue on the course set in motion by the shimla agreement of 1972 we hope the government's policy will be reciprocated in ample measures sino indian moves towards normalized relations a potentially stabilizing factor were inevitably affected by the sino vietnam conflict india remains willing to discuss all issues with china including the boundary question in search of a peaceful solution based on equality we hope to progress also as regards bilateral exchanges our friendship with vietnam remains a constant factor in our policy we stand for a kampuchi able to seek its own destiny free of outside pressure we intend to continue to improve our relations with asian for whose members we have good will and understanding the need in south east asia is for mutual confidence and relaxation of tensions distance has been no bar to our forging close and friendly relations with the countries of latin america or the far flung countries of the commonwealth our relations with japan and the countries of europe are comprehensive in nature and are mutually satisfying with our brethren in africa we have stood shoulder to shoulder in the struggle against colonialism and racialism our solidarity with the arab cause is based on principle 
and we believe that a solution of the problem of west asia cannot be found without conceding the legitimate demands of the palestinians for their homeland our relations with the soviet union have expanded based on an abiding friendship which demonstrates the virtues of reliability and mutual understanding we intend to deepen the extend this cooperation we have many sided relations with the united states these will be further consolidated in the context of the common values we cherish as sister democracies in this region thank you